الحمد لله الحمد لله أضعف ما حمده جميع خلقه كما يحبه ويرضى اللهم صل على محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وسلم تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عدد ما في علم الله صلاة دائمة بدوام ملك الله مولاي صل وسلم دائما عبدا على حبيبك قير القلق كلهم سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه كولي ربنا يسر ولا تعسر وتمم بالقير وبك نستعين يا فتاح اللهم اجعلنا دعاة إليك وإلى رسولك اللهم فقهنا في الدين وعلمنا القرآن الحكيم ربنا زدنا علما أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وإلى مدينة قاهم شويبا A verb is understood here وأرسلنا And we sent as a rasul of course إلى مدينة to the city of مدينة أقاهم شعيبا their brother one from their own kind one from their own clan one from their brethren شعيب على نبينا وعليه الصلاة والسلام فقال and he said يا قوم اعبدوا الله O my people O my قوم do the ibadat of Allah worship Allah وَرُجُلْ يَوْمَ الْآخِرُ And hope and long for the last day. اِقْشَوْهُ حضرت جلال الدین المحلی الشافعی رحمه اللہ gives the tafsir of رجاہ here with قوف وَرُجُلْ يَوْمَ الْآخِرُ Hope for the long, for the last day. يعني fear it. If somebody hopes for something, especially the day of Qiyamah, he's hopeful of it. That is Iman. And the other part of Iman is Kauf also too. To be fearful, hoping for Allah's Rahmat on that day, but at the same time, fearful of Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so merciful that Allah will forgive, inshallah, and save a person from that which he fears, and grant him what he is hopeful for at the time of his death. If we look into the commentary on the number four, there are some different aqwal on this. وَرُجُلْ يَوْمَ إِلَىٰ آكِرِهِ فِي الْبَيْضَوِي In the great tafsir book by Qadhi al-Baydawi alayhi rahma, he uses the meaning of raja itself. Yes, hope for that day. But then hope is the effect in other words, do something that will bring about this hope. That's how he gives the tafsir. Alamal baydawi. In other words, he says what the ayat means here is if alu ma tarjuna bihi thawabahu. Do such things whose thawab and reward you will be hopeful for. While you are in the dunya, use this life, use this hayat, use this dunya. To do such things through which you will be hopeful for the thawab and the reward of those things on the day of Qiyamah. فَأُقِيمَ السَّبَبُ مَقَامَ فَأُقِيمَ الْمُسَبَّبُ مَقَامَ السَّبَبُ So therefore the musabbab, which is like the effect or that which has been caused, that is made to stand maqama sabab in place of the sabab and reason. In other words, the reason and the sabab for raja is using this dunya, using this life, using the sihat 
and all the gifts that Allah has granted to us to do such actions, to do such deeds through which we will hope and have that raja, it will bring about that raja on the day of Qiyamah. Waqila, that's one, so he has used, yani, uqeem al musabbabu maqam as sabab As is, this is an usul in so many books, it is mentioned like this. Yani, uqeem al musabbabu maqam as sabab Waqila, it has also been said, ar raja biman al kauf that raja has the meaning of fear itself, like how it is mentioned in Tafsir of Jalalain. Fear that day of Qiyamah. So that's two commentaries so far. Wafi Abu Su'ud in the Tafsir of Abu Su'ud, Alayhimur Rahma, wa nafa an Allahu bi ulumihim amin. He says, Warjul Yawmal Akir, long for the last day. He also takes the meaning of Raja in a literal sense. Here he takes it in a literal, direct sense. Qadhi Baithawi takes it in the sense that Ukim al Musababu Maqam al Sabab, that the effect, the cause thing, was made to stand in place of the Sabab. Next tafsir is that Raja has the meaning of Kauf, which is also in Jalalain. And the third commentary by Abu Su'ud is that literally, directly, Raja has the meaning of Raja. Yani warjul yawm al-akir, hope for that last day. It is something to look forward to. It is something to hope for. So therefore, the meaning will be what? I tawakka'uhu, have the tawakko of it. Oh, have the expectation of it. Wama sayaka'u, and that which will soon occur. Min fununil ahwal, of the different types of ahwal, they'll be there. Hope for it and long for it in a literal sense. Back to Jalalain. وَإِلَىٰ مَلِيَنَا قَاهُمْ شُوَيْبًا فَقَالَ يَا قَوْمِ يَعْبُدُ اللَّهُ وَرْجُ الْيَوْمَ الْآخِرُ اِكْشَوْهُ هُوَ يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ which is the day of Qiyamah وَلَا تَعْثَوْ فِي الْأَرْضِ مُفْسِدِينَ and do not commit evil in the land as mischief makers this Mufsidin is hal, of course. La ta'thaw fil ard. Simply means la tufsidu fil ard. Do not commit evil in the land. Walk about in the land committing evil as Mufsidin, with evil intentions, as mischief makers. So therefore, this hal is halun mu'akidatun, is a hal which gives ta'kid. Emphasis li amiliha to its amil, to that which causes the amal, which is the verb ta'thaw, coming from athia, athia ya'tha, bi kasril muthallatha, athia ya'tha, bi mana afsada. La ta'thaw fil awdi mufsidin. So, Shu'aib has been sent as a nabi and as a prophet. To his people of Madyam, he is giving them the dawah and calling them towards Allah. O Allah, towards the asal thing which man has been created for, which is Allah's ibadat. That's why we have been created. Reminding them of the last day. Fear it, long for it, hope for it, and do such things through which you will... Hope for the thawab of it on that day. And do not walk about in the land committing evil as mufsidin. فَكَذَّبُوهُ But they rejected him. They belied him. فَأَكَذَتْهُمُ rajfa, And so the rajfa, the great earthquake, 
azalzalatu shadida. That great earthquake took them, shook them, tore them apart. Today there was a slight earthquake in Trinidad and the northern part of Trinidad was about 3.3. Allahumma hafadna. May Allah protect us and make us not like Japan. That's why we have to do Nusrat to the brothers who come from Pakistan. When Jamaat come and they do hij Hijrat, we make Nusrat and have great respect for the work of Dawat and Tabligh and always help to Awanu. Alal birra taqwa. Go about Amr bil maruf, commanding what is right, stopping what is wrong, then Allah will keep back the calamities. Isn't it so, Harun? And so that great earthquake, as Zalzala to Shadida, took them. Of course, there is no contradiction and ta'aruz and mukhalafat in the Holy Quran. But someone may ask a question that elsewhere in the Holy Quran it is mentioned that, that the, the shout, the great cry of Jibreel overtook them, and here it is mentioned the earthquake. So, what is Al Jam'u? In number six, there's the Jama there. Kaulu fa akadatumur rajfa ila akirihi fa in kila. If it is said, Kaulaha huna wa fil araf. Here it is said, as well as in Surah Tul Araf, fa akadatumur rajfa. Wa kaula fi hud. And in Surah Tul Hud it is mentioned, fa akadatumur sayha. That the, the shriek overtook them. وَالْقِصَّةُ وَاحِدَةٌ And the story is the same. Kolna, we will answer and say, يَجُوزُ أَنْ يَجْتَمِيَ عَلَىٰ إِحْلَاكِهِمْ سَبَبًا It is possible that two reasons can come together for their destruction. There were two suburbs and two reasons for their destruction. The Sayha as well as the Zalzala. وَقِيلَ It has also been said, Inna Jibreel Asaha. Jibreel alayhi salam, when he came to destroy the city of Madian, the calm of Shuaib, that shriek, that scream, that cry from Jibreel, Saha Jibreel, Fatazalzalatil Ardu, and so the earth shook from the Saiha of Jibreel, Min Saihatihi. And so for Rajifat Kulubuhum, their hearts were shaken, their hearts started to tremble. Well, either of two ila sabab. So the connection towards the sabab here. La tunafi al idhafatu ila sabab is sabab does not negate the idhafat and the connection to the sabab of the sabab, which means that here the idhafat of the sabab. That the Rajfa, the Zalzala, the earthquake overtook them and shook them and brought them down to their knees and threw them to the ground. Connection to that doesn't negate is offered of the of the Sababus towards the Sababus Sabab. Al Idhafatu ila Sabab La Tunafi. Al idhafata ila sabab is sabab. Does not negate the idhafat connection to the sabab of the sabab. And there was that was caused, that sabab, that was caused by another sabab, which was the sayha and the shriek of Jibril. So Jibril shouted. That was the first cause. And then that caused the zalzala. And that caused their hearts to shake and to tremble. And subhanallah was their destruction which we said in the beginning that it is possible for the ijtima of two suburbs for their destruction. Shriek and the, sh the shout of Jibreel, the zalzala, and the end result, their destruction. Fa'akadat, so there is no ta'arud, and this is al-jam'u. Hadha kalamullah, la rayba fihi. Fa'akadat humur rajfa, fa'asbahu fi darihim jathimeen. And so they, they found themselves in the morning 
By morning, they were in their homes, jathimin, lying on their knees, lying on their knees, lying prostrate, destroyed. Jathimin means barikin. Barikin ala rukab. And the verb baraka means sakata. So therefore, barikin ala rukab means sakitin ala rukab. Falling upon their knees. They fell upon their knees, flat down, as though they lay prostrate, dead. Mayitin. That's how, that was the end result of them in the morning. Destruction. Inna batasha rabbika la shadid. Fa asbahu fi darihim jathimeen. Jathimeen. Barikina aisaqitina la rukab. Mayitin. Dead. Wa adam wa thamuda. The verb is understood. We also destroyed Ad and Thamud. Yani Kaum Hud, the Kaum of Hud and the Kaum of Salih. We destroyed them both also to Ad and Thamud. And these were nations that were great, mighty nations. Nations today cannot even be, be made comparable to those. Nations before in strength, in court, even with respect to wealth. Samuda, it could be read as Munsarif and Gaid Munsarif. Bisarfi wa Tarkihi, with Sarf and without Sarf, as Munsarif and without Munsarif. Biman al Hayi wal Kabila, with the meaning of Hay and Kabila tribe. And so we destroyed also Ad and Thamud, great mighty nations like Ad and Thamud. People of Ad were huge, strong, big. They would uproot trees. People of Thamud were great builders and carvers and they would make their homes from the mountain, from the rocks. Such great, strong, powerful houses. Wa Ad and Wa Thamud. And indeed, clearly visible to you, indeed apparent to you, the verb is understood, their fate, their destruction, their fate is clear to you, it's visible to you. From the athar, from the traces of their buildings, of their dwellings, from their ruins then. It's apparent to you. You pass there. You do suffer there. You see the athar and the traces and ruins of, of, this, of their buildings that have been destroyed. So that is very apparent to you. You can see that from their dwellings that once stood. Bil Hijr wal Yaman at Hijr and Yaman. Hijr is a valley, yani wadin, bain al Madina wa Sham, between Madina and Sham, known as the Valley of Thamud, Hijri Thamud, Bil Hijri wal Yaman. But they did not listen to their prophets, Hud and Salih, Allah Nabina wa alayhim as salatu was salam. But instead they followed their own desires, whims, and fancies. They chose evil, and evil was made to look beautiful to them. Sometimes people do evil, and the evil seems to be attractive. It has been made attractive, and they enjoy it. Allah says, this is the case here. And the shaitan made their deeds, min al-kufri wal maasi of the kufr, disbelief, while Maasi and of the sins and evil they committed, Shaitan made such actions of theirs attractive, beautiful. Shaitan was the Muzayyin and the Amal was Muzayyana. He made it look attractive and beautiful. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows Shaitan a free hand in doing certain things by way of imtihan and ibtila and attes. Allah granted him that respite ila yawmil qiyamah. So he is the muzayyin. He made their deeds, their evil deeds of kufr and maasi and sins attractive. 
And that is why people commit sins and what a particular type of sin time and time again because it has been made attractive. And so he blocked them and obstructed them from the path of Haq, Sabil al Haq, the path of truth. Though they were mustabsirin, though they had basirat, they had insight, they were keen sighted, but still they could not see. Wakanu mustabsirin, yani dawi basair. They were people of basair, basirat, meaning number 11. They were not people who were dull witted or uneducated, unintelligent, without akl intelligence. Allah says about Ad and Thamud, Wakanu Mustabsirin. Look in number 11. Zawi Basair. Ay mutamakinina minan nadri wal istidlal. They had ability over nadar and istidlal. Contemplation, reflection. They had ability over that. They could have thought, think, sought out things, contemplate, reasoning. But they did not do that. So Allah says they were people of Basira. They were keen sighted. This is the tafsir of Abu Saud. In the tafsir of Al Kabir by Imam Al Razi, alayhi rahma, he says that they were, they were people of Basira, inside, keen sighted, bi wasitatil rusul, by way of the messengers, by way of messengers who came to them. So they had their wits by way of the messengers who came to them. Yani, that is, فَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُمْ فِي ذَلِكَ أُذْرٌ They had no excuse for them in that disbelief, kufr, and masiyat of theirs. They had no excuse. فَإِنَّ الرُّسُولَ أَوْضَحُ السَّبِيلَ Because the messengers made their way very, very clear. So even though they were like that, but still, their deeds were made attractive. That is why Rasul taught us a dua. Allahumma. Allahumma zayyinna bi zinatil iman. O oh Allah purify us with the beauty of iman. Let iman be attractive. Let iman be beautiful to us. Otherwise, kodana khasta na'udhu billah. The other sign of the coin is that kufr ma'asi becomes attractive and decorated. The Rasul taught us to say, Allahumma zayyinna, O oh Allah, beautify us, decorate us, be zinatil iman, with the zinat and the beauty and the glitter and the glamour of iman. Elsewhere in another dua he said, Waj'alna min ar-rashidin, Allahumma habbib ilayna al-iman, wala make iman beloved to us. Allahumma habbib ilayna al-iman, wa karrih ilayna al-kufra wal-isyan, and make detestable to us kufr, disbelief, and sins. We have to get that touch from Allah, that help from Allah must come. وَمَا تَوْفِيقِ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ Our tawfiq is from no one except Allah. That touch must be there. أَسَعْيُ minna Effort from us. Dua وَالْإِتْمَامِ مِنَ Allah. Completion from Allah. وَجْعَلْنَا مِنَ الرَّاشِدِينَ And make us from the rightly guided ones. Back to Jalalain. وَعَادًا وَثَمُودًا وَقَدْ تَبَيَّنَ لَكُمْ مِنْ مَسَاكِنِهِمْ وَزَيَّنَ لَهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ وَعَمَا لَهُمْ فَصَدَّهُمْ عَنِ السَّبِيلِ وَكَانُوا مُسْتَبْصِرِينَ وَقَارُونَ Again the verb is understood. أَحْلَقْنَا And we'd have destroyed قَارُون وَفِرَاون وَهَامَان we destroy them also too. Musa, And indeed, Musa, that great Nabi and Rasul, Allah Nabi na wa alayhi salatu wasalam, had come unto them from before, min qabl, bil bayinat with clear signs. Bil hujajil zahirat. With such hujjat, such proofs, such arguments, such ayat, dalail that were very clear and manifest, he came, Musa alayhi salam, bil bayinat. 
فَاسْتَقْبَرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ بَتْقَارُونَ فِرَاؤُنْ هَامَانْ They were too arrogant. They were puffed up with haughtiness and pride in the land. فَاسْتَقْبَرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ They became arrogant and proud in the land. وَمَا كَانُوا سَابِقِينَ And they were not سَابِقِينَ They were not those who would escape us and flee from our azab. وَمَا كَانُوا سَابِقِينَ يَعْنِ فَائِتِينَ عَذَابَنَا And they were not those who would run away and escape our azab and flee from it, but it took them all. فَقُلَّنْ So, every one of them who have been mentioned مِنَ الْمَذْكُرِينَ Every one of them, أَقَذْنَا بِذَنْبِ We took them to task. We punished them بِذَنْبِ because of his sin. Because Allah is عدل. Allah is عدل. Allah is just. Full of justice. We took them to task بِذَنْبِ فَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ أَرْسَلْنَا عَلَيْهِ حَاصِبًا and so from those, and not just Karun and Firaun and Haman, but add also to Anthamud and the people of Madian, the people of, of Shuaib. From amongst them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala summarizes that He is Rahman and He is Rahim. Yes, He is merciful. He is Rahman. Rahman means that his mercy is so broad, it extends to the whole world. Because in Arabic, when the letters are more, the, we, the meaning generally is wider. So Rahman, his Rahmat is very extensive for everyone. Rahimun bil mu'minin Rahim, merciful bil mu'minin to the believers. But Rahman at dunya, Rahman to everyone. And his rahmat and Allah's mercy extends beyond his wrath and his ghadab and anger. He's very merciful. But Allah is also zu intiqam, Lord of retribution and punishment. But he's merciful, forgiven, ghafoor, sattar, salam, peaceful, originator, author of peace. However, though, as iman is between Kaufan Raja, Allah summarizes and when He wants to deal with certain people, when it is no more time, famin whom so from amongst them, man arsalna alayhi hasiba, are those upon whom we we had sent a hasiba, a punishment hasiba. What type of punishment? Yani rihan asifa. A strong, violent wind. Rih an Asifa. Strong, violent wind. Asif. Yani rih an shadidan jiddan. Fiha hasba. In which were hasba. In which were stones and pebbles. So from amongst them were those whom we destroyed. Upon whom we sent a hasiba. Like in the form of a tornado, strong, violent, powerful wind in which were stones and pebbles that rained upon them. Kakaumilut, like the people of Lot. Rihan Asifa, Fiha Hasba, powerful, violent wind in which were pebbles, like the people of Lot. As also we have mentioned before. It was mentioned before, Qasf, the sinking was also attributed to them, as well as Nar and fire was also attributed to them. So from amongst them, from amongst them are those who were destroyed like this, وَمِنْ whom مَنْ أَكَذَتْ hussaiha. And from amongst them were those whom the Saiha, the shriek, the shout, the cry of Jibreel overtook, Thamud, like the people of Thamud. Wamin human from amongst them, Man Kasafna Bihil Arda are those whom we sank into the earth. Kakarun like Karun. 
Woman who man from amongst them, man agarakna are those who we drowned, kakaumi Nuh, like the people of Nuh, wa Firaun, wa kaumihi and his kaum. Then Allah says, What you think? That I am zalim? A'udhu billah. Zulm is haram upon Allah. And Allah has made zulm haram upon his ibad also. Allah says, وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيَظْلِمَهُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not one to do injustice to them. Allah is not a zalim. He was not a zalim upon them. وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيَظْلِمَهُمْ Allah is not an ilah who commits zulm and he, one who had wronged them. فَيُوَذِّبَهُمْ That he may chastise them. After, after nafi in Arabic, one of the laws of Arabic language, after nafi, when fa comes before the mudari, then an is understood. So, ma kan Allah li yadlimahum, fa yuadzibahum, that he may chastise them. Zalim, that he may chastise them, bigayri them, without any sin. No, it's when the sin, when the sin becomes too much. And when there is no more amr bil maruf and nahyu an il munkar, no more commanding towards righteousness and calling towards good. And when everybody has become the same and the work of dawah has stopped, it is when people refuse to listen to the words of the messengers and the knives and ambassadors of the messengers and those who carry the message of the prophets. Then that happens. وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ لِيَظْلِمَهُمْ فَيُوَذِّبَهُمْ بِغَيْرِ ذَنْبٍ وَلَكِنْ كَانُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ يَظْلِبُونَ But they were wronging themselves. They were doing zulm upon themselves. When we do zulm, we do it upon ourselves. رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا Ay Rabb, O our Rabb, ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا We have committed zulm upon ourselves. They were wrong in themselves. Birtika bidhamb, birtika bidhamb, irtakaba. By the commission of sins. And this, this, this surah gets its name, al Kabud, the spider from this verse. Mathalu ladina takadu min dunillahi awliya. They are people who take as helpers, friends, and protectors gods other than Allah. Idols other than Allah. From since that time, from since way back in time, even until today, Allah gives the bayan of such people. He gives the parable. He gives the similitude, the likeness of such people. And so the parable of those or the likeness or similitude of those people, it takadu min dunillahi awliya, who take Besides Allah, awliya, friends, protectors, helpers, yani asnam and idols, yarujuna nafaha, hoping and longing for the benefit. They take them in such a state and hal that they are longing and hoping for benefit from these idols. So what's the likeness of these people? Kamathalil ankabut. They are like the mafal and the example and the similitude of the spider, al-ankabut, like the spider. The spider seeks refuge in its own home. These people are seeking refuge, protection and shelter in things, in asnam, in entities, in idols besides Allah, in gods besides Allah, ma'ad Allah. They are like the spider who seeks refuge, shelter and protection in its own home. Ittakadat bayta. The spider made a home for itself. Ittakadat bayta li nafsiha. It is like a spider that has made a home for itself. Li nafsiha ta'wi ilay. Towards which. It seeks protection, refuge, and shelter in that home. As everyone goes to his home and house to, as, a, as a haven, as a safe home. 
So these people are just like the spider, it took that bite and that has taken a home for itself, seeking refuge, protection, shelter in this home. But Allah says, you know what's the weakest of all the homes? al buyut, And indeed, the most insignificant, the weakest, yani adhafa, Inna awhan al buyut, adhaf al buyut, the weakest and most insignificant of all homes. La baytulan kabut is the home of the spider, the spider's web. That's the weakest of all the homes with one finger. Sometimes with the, if the wind is too hard, even a child can break it down. So these people are like the spider, seeking protection in gods besides Allah, in idols besides Allah. They are like the spider who, that seeks protection and shelter in its own home, and that's the weakest of all the homes. And this home of the spider cannot ward off any heat from it, and protect the spider from heat. La yadfa'u'anha harran wala bardan. Nor can it ward off cold, extreme cold, the winter from it. Kathalika al-asnamu. Like that, the idols that people take and worship besides Allah, gods besides Allah that they take and make. La tanfa'u'a bidiha. Do not give any benefit to their worshippers. Likewise. If only they were knowing. The jawab of this is mahdhuf. If only they were knowing that, ma abaduha, then they would not have worshipped the spider. But it appears la yaqilun that they have no akal, they have no intelligence, and still mankind is worshipping, seeking refuge in Aslam. And entities, idols besides Allah and call them as gods. Allah is much aware of everything that people worship besides Him. He is much He's very aware of that. In Allah Yadun Matadun. Indeed Allah knows that which they are worshipping. Ma bimana alladhi ma has the meaning of alladhi in other words ma is mausulatun Allah knows that which they are calling upon which they are worshipping because the essence of ibadat is dua yani ma yabuduna bil yai wa ta wit ya anta tadun yadun and min is a min duni besides him yani min ghairihi Min shay min is the bayan, the bayan of ma. In other words, Allah knows every single thing that they worship besides Him, that they call upon besides Him. He's aware, He knows everything. Ya'lamu ma yad'oon ma ya'budun min dunihi min gairihi min shay. Wa huwa al-azizul hakim and Allah is al-aziz, is that wala. Allah is full of honor and respect, might and power. Wa huwa al-aziz fi mulkihi. In his kingdom, Allah is aziz, dominant. Al-ghalibu ala amrihi. Al-hakim, but with that power and might, there is wisdom and hikmat. Fi sunihi in his action. Yani fi fi'lihi. Wa tilka al-amthal. And those amthal, parables, Mathals, similitudes, fil Quran, which are in the Holy Quran. Nadribuha nas. We bring it forth, explain it for mankind. Nadribuha nas. Yani najaluha nas. We make it for the people. We bring it forth for the people and make them, make these parables for the people, explain it so that they may understand. وَتِلْكَ الْأَمْثَالُ نَضْرِبُهَا يَعْنِ نَجْعَلُهَا لِلنَّاسِ But who understands? وَمَا يَاقِلُهَا إِلَّا الْعَالِمُونَ But no one understands it. يَعْنِ يَفْهَمُهَا إِلَّا الْعَالِمُونَ Except the people 
who ponder alimun here means al mutadabbirun except those who reflect ponder do tadabbur tafakkur tasawwur who understands it except people who sit down a bit and reflect and think and ponder ma yaqiluha illa al alimun except the alim the alimun those who those who would like to know those who receive their knowledge through tafakkur and tadabbur al mutadabbirun khalaqa allah as samawati wal arda bil haqq allah created the heavens and the earth the seven skies and the seven earths allah created as samawati wal ard just as we have seven skies we have seven earths also too or seven layers of the earth if you want to call it that and he did it bil haqq how this is hal he did it with truth he did it in such a state and hal that he was ai muhikkan he was muhik a muhik is a person who is in the right who is correct he did it as a muhik as one who is in the right one who is correct one who has done it not without purpose without an objective and in other words done it uselessly no just glance quickly at number 21 muhikkan yushiru ila anna al bait indicates that the ba in bil haq is lil mulabasa it is for connection and attachment he did it bil haq with haq wal jaru wal majrur halun the jar and the majrur is hal bil haq yani muhikkan min lafzil jalala and the dhul hal is of course lafzul jalala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah khalaqa Allah in what state and hal bil haq yani muhikkan in other words muhikkan means what ghayra qasidin without intending bihi batilan without intending batil and that which is useless and aimless with it another verse explains this verse because al quran yufassiru ba'dahu ba'dha pa- the best tafsir of quran is quran itself ka qawli ta'ala like allah says elsewhere in the quran wa ma khalaqna as-samaa'a wal ard and we have not created the heavens and the earth wa ma bainahuma la'ibin and whatever is between the heavens and the earth as as jokers as people playing in amusement that we were in amusement no it is with purpose we did not create the heavens and the earth la'ibin as people who are playing people who are in in amusement as batilan without purpose without ve- without aim wa tilka lamsalu nadribuha lin nas wa ma yaqiluha illa al alimun qalaqa allah as samawati wal ard bil haq inna fi dhalika la aya in that is a great sign in the creation of the heavens and the earth it is a great sign la ayatan dalalatan is a great indication ala qudratihi ta'ala upon the qudrat of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is why one of the ways of marifat and to get to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is when you are outdoors do tafakkur do tadabbur inna fi qalqi samawati wal ard indeed in the creation of the heavens and the earth waqtila fil layli wan nahar and in the alternation and alteration of the day and the night and the coming and going of day and night short days short night lo- nights long nights are short days are long all of these things when a person reflects and he looks and he ponders Allah says there's a great ayat in that inna fi dhalika la ayatan in that is an ayat dalalatan ala qudrati ta'ala upon the qudrat and power of Allah but as an ayat lil mu'minin for the believers who will reflect upon the flowers and the greenery and the mountains and the different beautiful sceneries and do a stidlal and reason out that how did these things come and look at the sunset and the skies the heavens and the earth and all that is in between and the greenery and the growth these are signs but some people just don't see the signs but who sees it who this is an ayat for whom lil mu'minin the believers qusub dhikri they were singled out with remembrance here they were specifically mentioned li annahum al muntafiun because they are the ones who really benefit they are the ones who really benefit biha 
with this ayat, with this sign from Allah, and all the different signs that Allah has put for mankind, they are the ones who really benefit from that. Fil iman in their iman, yani fi imanihim. Bikhilafil kafirin, contrary to the kafirs, they don't benefit from these signs. In fact, people become amazed when we sometimes we want to know what's the direction of east. And sometimes people do, are not even aware of the directions where the sun rises. Muslims are always looking for east. Where is east? Where is Qibla? North, south. These are ayats. But ayat, a great sign, lil mu'minin. Because they are the ones لِأَنَّهُمُ الْمُنْتَفِيُونَ بِهَا فِي الْإِمَانِ بِكِلَا فِي الْكَافِرِينَ This brings us to the end of the ruku and uh, we go on to that powerful verse which speaks about salat إِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ تَنْهَانِ الْفَحْشَى وَالْمُنْكَرِ That famous verse which also is the beginning of um, which Jews is that? Eh? 20? 21st Jews but we will continue that next term, inshallah. Ya ilahi <laughs>